10 days, eight contestants, five cities, $40,000 in a beach house on the line. This is Barstool versus America. Presented by High Noon Hard Seltzer. But I swear to God, if I have to move again, I don't know. I think I might freak the fuck out. I think it might be time to freak the fuck out if they move me one more time. If Chicago comes around and I moved again, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Where's the loyalty? Where are my teammates? Where's somebody who I can like really count on? Now I just feel like I'm stuck in this group of people and I'm friends with everybody, but I need some loyalty. I need a team that I can really call home. It's really unfortunate that being the nice person and being friends with everybody means that you just literally get shuffled around back and forth like a motherfucking hot potato. I'm so over it. I think I need to get back to my roots and start talking shit and causing fucking trouble because it's starting to get a little pressing and I'm over it. Whatever the next challenge is, I need to be the most important person. I need to be the captain of the situation. I really need to do something that makes me the captain so I am in charge of the situation because it's gotten to the point where I need to be in charge or else I'm getting fucked every single time. I'm happy with every decision I made thus far in the game. Standing by Vibs, trading Keegs, getting her some rest in the Airbnb. Every decision hereafter will be a business decision and I have to play this game for myself. The difference in Chicago versus the other three cities is that once we leave Chicago, that's the team that you're gonna be competing with for the $10,000 prize. You could win the $10,000 and still get absolutely nothing if you don't have the right alliance. That's fucking scary. How you doing? People are tired. I thought we had an alarm set for 6.45. We were leaving at 7. I did not. So I just had to run down. But uh, outside of that, I feel pretty good. This is about as good as you're going to get on a Monday at 7 a.m. So on to Chicago, I guess, right? So we left Nashville around 7 a.m. this morning. It's a high morale group right now. And the only complaint I have right now is I got to do some laundry. Look at my fucking shirt. Anything physical we land. That is not an issue. The yellow team currently is about 500 pounds, and the blue team is currently about 1,000 pounds. Physical challenge in Chicago, we'll have the three-headed monster straight to the championship. Balls will be gone. The big three remains a cohesive unit, myself, Dana, and Marty, with a rotating guest of morons coming in and out. Anything athletic, it's easy. I just can't have balls be the captain. The only thing I'm concerned about in Chicago with the team set the way they are is if there's something with strength. The yellow team is the brains, the blue team is the brawn. They are the muscle, they're the guys, they don't really have to use their brains for literally anything that we've done so far. But right now, I don't think that they really feel the need to try. I think that they think that they have it in the bag. I need to become captain, someone needs to become captain and break up Marty and Dana. I, could, then that... I couldn't agree more. I think the mindset is very simple. Uh, we have to split up Dana and Marty. Marty and Dana are two of the strongest athletes, competitors in this challenge. We need to split them up if we want to win. If they're broken up, they need to bring each other back together so they can't kick right. fuck someone else over. Right. Fucking Absolutely. like breaking them up kind of puts them behind. They're both big, they both have been captains several times. Without Marty on that team, I think the team will flounder. I see it like the fucking Daytona 500. Like long ass race, everyone's just hustling to the last like 20 laps, 50 laps. That's where the shit happens. We're gonna sit in the back, we're gonna draft behind the blue team for now, and then we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for them to fuck up and we'll have a window to take the lead. The reason that Dana and Marty are the strongest is it's not using your brain. No, that's what I'm saying. Mean. It's not using your brain. And they're just the biggest people. Dana on his own won't be as good. Dana and Marty sure, together. For sure. Marty alone will be fine, but Marty with Dana without Marty can't. Well, I think that's four. We have numbers now. Yeah. Let's win 10K. I read an article the other day that Mary Todd Lincoln was actually quite manipulative of Abe Lincoln. She was the reason Abe Lincoln became president. The article also said that she was like, had a hand in his assassination, which I don't believe, but. Who the fuck is Mary Todd Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln's fucking wife. Anyways, we're in Indiana. Let's get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck's a Johnson? Let's go to Chicago. There's a lot of Johnsons. Fuck you, Steve. Must be nice having a hotel, bitch. You come on here and fucking take pervy ass fucking video what footage. Are you talking about? Slander my teammates. Get the fuck out of here. The location that we're in is uh, directly underneath like an overpass for the train of some sort. You're literally here right now. The wonderful sounds of Chicago. Love it. I don't know if I got even a single second of sleep. Um, and I'm feeling a little testy today. I'll be honest. I'm predetermined losing today, so if I don't win this captaincy, I've been told I'm out. Yeah, they, they kind of all they kind of all told me in unison. They were like, "Buddy, you're out of here." And I'm just like, "All right, I'll see you later." Because I guess they want someone more uh, athletic for the final challenge. Trash bags. Hope it's all mental and they get fucked. I've never seen a team more confident than this. 
Marty's rolling around here like he's fucking Boston Rob, so I would like to see him somehow lose. We're a mess. This is bad, boys. <laughs> We're down bad, fellas. We need kings. Yeah. <laughs> boys, this is the big three. We need kings. We, need, we don't need a fucking captain ship, is what we need. Oh, yes. We can't have balls being captain of the whole thing. Uh, us three have to. We're still on the same page. Yeah. Kick them out. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See you, balls. Well, look at this. Balls is underwear. It's just on the fucking counter. <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, balls. We can't have that. I didn't know that. Good morning, good morning, good morning hello. How are you, hello everybody, hello. Welcome everybody to Chicago, Windy City, Illinois, home of the bean, formerly a rainforest cafe. Second to last leg of this competition. Pretty important one as well because the teams are very close to locked later on today. Being in control of today's game and what happens after the team challenge, very important. Individual challenge, we threw axes last time, we had a food eating contest, bull riding. Something's in here, you wanna see what you're doing today? Yeah. What is it? Yeah, you're bowling, I mean, this <laughs> um, You're just bowling today, you're gonna to pick your partners, you're going to bowl, it's going to be fun. The winner of this challenge on each team, once again, remember, you don't hate each other right now, you hate your individual teammates, becomes the captain for a challenge later today that is going to be grueling, both physically, and mentally, I know Keegs, that excites Keegs, you. Keegs, mental stuff. Oh my God, I can use Finally. my brain for once. Physically <laughs> and mentally, Jesus. so who you pick is important. Yeah. All right, let's see who's gonna be first up, picking your fans today to be your partner. I'll, I'll go first. First up is Pat. Is anyone good at bowling? I'm decent, okay. Just to get in Balls' head here, you're gonna come with me. Oh. Hey, He's a Thank God, I really didn't want to do that. What's up? Next up, Keegs. Woo, okay, um, white shirt, I don't know. Cute. White shirt, <laughs> that is Luke. She called you cute, Luke. You hear that? Next up. Thanks. Yeah. You're cute. You are. You look Let's handsome. Let's go. <laughs> Luke, you're with <laughs> Kelly Keegs. Bonk. Bloody balls. Who are you uh, taking? I'm going to go with my guy right here. I like your yeah. vibe. Okay. Yeah, bonk. Bonk the hell out of me. How you doing? What's Angelo and Plenty. Marty, who are you taking? Backwards hat guy. Backwards hat guy, Jimmy. Jimmy joins Marty and Vibs. You got the next pick. Uh, anyone with a Southern Illinois shirt on and a mullet is good at bowling. They spent time in a bowling alley. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Spider, who are you taking? Uh, American flag, let's get it. American flag, okay, that's Philip. Dana. The guy on the left scaring me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my guy right here. Okay, that's Kevin. Casey, you get Garth. Garth, come on down here. Garth! You can, you can take it off. That's why it's Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, we <laughs> get White Sox Dave, thanks for joining us. I'm a phenomenal athlete, as you guys all know. I'm a marathon finisher, throw 91 miles an hour. So my athletic prowess is evident, and that obviously would translate over to something as easy and simple as bowling. Welcome, we're very happy to see you, happy to have you. Yellow team, you went first in Nashville when you were throwing axes, so you're gonna sit down for a little bit, enjoy, get the bowling mindset going. Blue team, you'll be up first, get your bowling shoes on, get ready to go. We're gonna find out the captains of the Chicago Team Challenge. All right, let's bring out the blue team. Blue team up first here in Chicago. Sit on down, blue team, it's time to bowl. Every single tandem will go three times. Each of you will bowl one time each, a total of six bowls, but there will be three rounds. The team with the most pins knocked over after those three rounds wins. They become the captain. Barstool fans, you will bowl first every single time. If you knock down six pins, your Barstool contestant teammate will then step up to try to knock down the remaining pins. If you get them all down, that's 10. Three rounds, most points you can score is 60. Good luck. I don't know who wants to bowl first, but if you're ready to go, let me know. Balls was saying he wants to go first. So Glenny Balls is up first. Glenny Balls, everybody, let's see how he bowls. All right, first bowl, here we go. Big pressure. Is that good? Pretty damn good. Nine pins good? for Angelo, nine good? pins. Come on, ball, pick up that spare. Butter City. Looking good. What? Looking good. Balls, oh, what a spare by Glenny Balls. Angelo with a strike! Oh my god! Me and Glennie just kick it off right away and we just dominated. And me and Angelo 
put our hard hats, went to work, and fucking dominated some bowling. 20 pins knocked down so far. Glenny Ball. Oh, that's horrible, really Oh, bad. no. He looks like six. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no. oh it came back! We got one. We got it came one. back. Balls, you picked up a one pin spare. Can you pick up a nine pin spare? If you get this, your team gets 36 points. Oh, yeah. yes. Looks good. 33 pins, a solid start for Glennie and Angelo. Pat and Aaron, you're up next. Pat, you had the first pick, and also you noted you said a relative of yours is in the New York Bowling Hall of Fame? Yes, my grandfather's in the New York Bowling Hall of Fame, so we're gonna try and make him proud today. Like that. Looks pretty solid. That looks like six pins to start. Pat, make your grandfather proud. Is it tracking? Uh, two down, eight to start. Tracking left. Shit. Two, three pins, got a couple lucky falls there. All right, Pat. Uh-oh, oh, way no. off. No. Oh, no, a gutter ball, zero pins. 11 balls, you will remain in the lead after Pat. Two strikes would not be enough here. Dana, I can tell Dana wants to go next. Kevin, you're up first, 33 is the score to beat. Oh, wow, a lot of height on that one. Looks like you got four down. Oh, my. Oh, 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 look at that. He got a couple extra ones. Oh, the taunting did not work out. You need a big frame here. I love that. That's tracking left, but he'll grab a couple. You need at least three to stay alive. Nasty. He does get three. He stays alive. No pressure, but like the max amount of pressure, you both must bowl a strike. Doesn't look like he's gonna have it, that's it. Glenny Balls remains in the lead. Marty. No oil, don't curve. Marty is noted, no oil on the lanes. They're not slick. He said, don't curve the ball. Jimmy, don't let Marty down. There we go. Oh no, that is a gutter ball for Jimmy. Right when it left his hands, it went straight to the gutter. What the fuck, Jimmy? Jimmy! What the <laughs> fuck was that, Jimmy? Oh, yeah! Oh, not bad. Nine, okay, not bad for Marty. Marty got what he needed, nine. Jimmy! Oh, no! <laughs> Even worse than the other! Oh, no! But that is how bad he was. Pretty bad at blowing. <laughs> What the fuck, All Jimmy? All right, Marty. You bowled three months ago. What'd you, what'd you get last time you bowled? A fucking four? Probably. Holy shit. If you get anything less than four, it's over. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and it's over. Glenny Balls is the captain of the blue team. Give him an Angelo round of applause. Angelo, you'll be staying on today as well. Money Balls, captain of the blue team. Who will be captain of the yellow team? Bring him on in. Hi, Jeff. White Sox Dave, showing off your merch. Yellow, yellow, yellow. I'm trying to see, does anyone want to go first? Kelsey and I'll go first. Kelsey and Vibs right away, not even hesitating. Right into the gutter, right. zero pins right. for Kelsey and Vibs to start. Pretty solid, you're gonna get some pins down. Not bad, six. Six for Vibs and Kelsey to start. That's gonna get some pins on, that could be a strike. Oh. Very close, eight pins for Kelsey. Is it gonna clip it? No, it's off to the left. 14 through two rounds. Glennie went first last time, he won. Can Kelsey and Vibs do the same? Oh. That's gonna get some pins, well, it looks pretty damn good. And that is nine pins. Vibs, you gotta try to pick up that spare. I've been leaning to the left this whole time, so this looks kinda good for me. Snipe down one pin, it's tracking. Oh! And it just misses to the right. Total of 23 pins for Vibs and Kelsey. They're the leaders. White Sox Dave and Casey. Dave, you're up first. White Sox Dave's first attempt. Oh. A lot of speed, a lot of pins. Eight pins to start for White Sox Dave. Fuck, fuck, my bad, Dave. That is my gonna bad, be a Dave. gutter ball. Eight to start, not bad though. She stunk. She was the worst bowler in the history of bowling. Oh my oh. goodness! Zero pins for Dave! Then he gutter balled, which he was furious about. My finger's stuck in it. Matches throw, Case. Gutter ball. Ah. 
That's a gutter ball. Eight. Gutter ball. All right, Casey, White Sox, Dave, you need 16 to win, but you must get a strike here, Dave, to stay alive. There we that go, was Dave. pretty damn good. There we go, Dave. Damn. Casey, Fucked White up. Sox, Dave, not enough. Yeah, the gut. You're too strong. Okay. Keeg, step on up. 23 is the score to beat. That one is going to get it, something, not a strike, but it gets not a bad, decent amount. Bad. Six okay. pins to start. Okay, can you get something? She gets one. Okay, okay. okay. seven pins That's to good. start. I feel good. Oh, Luke, looks looking clean. good. Looks is that a strike? Oh. It is a strike oh. for Luke. That's Ten good. pins down for Luke. One, he's handsome. Two, he looks like he could throw a bowling ball down an alley. I think I carried the team a little bit, but uh, her spirit definitely carried the team's uh, uh, enthusiasm. Three pins for Keegs. That's 20 pins. There's no losing scenario yet. But if you get four now, you have the lead. Got it. Little chirping. That looks yes. like it will yes. be more yes. than yes. enough. Is it another strike? No, but it's nine pins. 29. And that's a gutter ball. 29 is the number to beat Spider. You're up next. All right, Philip. Let's get it. Let's go. Set the pace, King. Oh. He spins ah. right into the gutter. It's all good. We'll Not get, a we'll great get him. start. We'll get him. Spider, that one tracking to the gutter. Zero as well. Let's go. Spider, you must knock down at least one pin. Uh, oh. Is he oh, going to get it? He is yeah. not. Kelly Keegs is the captain of the yellow team Fucking for the Chicago man, Challenge. You. The yellow team has another different captain thank here you. in Chicago. Thank you, thank you. Very excited. So Marty, Pat, and I made it quite clear to the three of us in a meeting before we're like, just as long as Glenny doesn't win, we are set, we're good to go. And now all hell is broken loose. I don't know what's going on. Somehow Glenny Balls and Angelo squeaked out a fucking win and now the entire game has changed. We're gonna have, to have Balls change captains and then we have him off and we try and get him back. Like us three are gonna win this competition if we stay together. And then we get balls back in the end. Yeah, that's what I want to do. A that's guaranteed bring down. back, handshake bring back, I don't guaranteed. Trust, I don't trust that. You don't trust the handshake? No, I don't trust you bringing Spider back over me. Why would I bring Spider back? We're, we have zero connection to Spider. Glenny Balls is like holding on to power like he's some fucking dictator. So now the decision rests in my hands. I think this is probably the biggest decision of the game so far. I don't really know what to do. If you give up captainship, we let you go, we bring you back. Then you get the house because we're going to win the whole thing. That's a guarantee, and we'll shake on it right now that we'll bring you back. This is the this is the team. This is the game. This, this is the team we want. If Glenny stays the captain, it's everyone for themselves. Every alliance I've made is donezo. The yellow team already doesn't like us. I want to guarantee if there's another twist and one of you happens to win, that I get your ring. Without me. I do that. Yes. It's like a, like a legally binding contract. Yes. Handshake on camera. Yes. I just saw Dana make a face. Of, I mean, can, let's fucking go here. I am done with Glenny Balls. Like, Glenny Balls is so fucking demanding. Get Glenny the fuck off this team. Glenny is fucking out. We're gonna get him to not be the captain, so one of us is the captain. Kick him off the team when we win the challenge. We're gonna win the challenge. We will never we'll ever lose that team in the challenge. But the thing is, we're looking out for him. We, we, want, to look out. we want this to be the four no matter what. Paul's just taking a dump right now. It's the most pivotal moment in the whole game. He's pooping in the bathroom. Did you think it any further? No? You didn't think about anything while you were dumping? What'd you think about? Me giving up captaincy, leaving blue today, going back to gold, and then hoping blue will win, which I think blue will win, and then they take me as the final person. Or maybe yellow team somehow pulls out a rest and we win, and then I'm on the winning team, and hopefully they don't kick me off. I'm trying to maximize my possible way to get this house. We are too. Do you not get that? So, no, you don't. But this is maximizing. This is the way. Third. How else could you possibly be more maximizing? No one on that team gives a shit about it. with that house. Really? Now, if we ran, I'll go bring my friends over. I told him I'll grill for his friends, drive to my hero once. I've been bribing him nonstop, and he just keeps going. I'm weighing my options. 
There's only two options, you schmo bag. I mean, this is like we're talking with red walls. I mean, we're giving you the house. We're giving you everything you want. Keep backing out and pushing the goalposts. Don't act me like you're doing me a favor. I'm the fucking captain here. I'm sorry you guys can't fucking back. I think that's one hand wash. That's what a deal does. We're tricking balls. Make no mistake about it. This is a big thing. We're tricking it. But if we can't do that, I'm going to have to rethink some things. I'm going to have to seriously rethink some things. It feels amazing to be captain. I have been dying for a chance to be captain. I just feel, I feel safe now. That's kind of the biggest thing. I don't have to move my shit off the bus for the fourth fucking time. So if it's mental warfare and Kelly Keegs is in charge of it, whoever's going against her is royally fucked. Kelly Keegs is the mental queen of this game. The yellow team needs to win today because the yellow team needs to be able to pick first. I need to make sure that we get Marty. We need to all need to pump the brakes on like the Jeff D cock sucking brown nose and tour. Spider and Jeff D Low, um, they've been buddy heads this entire time. They get the two HDMI cords. They get the fucking buffalo chicken pizza. We get the <laughs> yeah. olives. Yeah. Pull the fucking footage. <laughs> Not forgot. I, I was on the blue team at that point and I felt like we were getting preferential. Chicken. Ooh, this, you too, we, we were there. Did, I mean, we were being treated better. I felt like a king on the blue team. Yeah, for real. Here I feel like a disgusting piece of <laughs> shit. Dana and Marty are the two key competitors on the blue team. Uh, it's been our MO the last challenges to split them up. So Glennie's the captain. I think, I think obviously we take Marty if we can, yep. but if Glennie sacrifices himself to save Marty, we take Dana. It will depend on how physical the challenge is. Cause like Glennie is like, and I, I mean, I praised him for that when he did it in Panama City. Like he is willing to give it up if he knows he's not the best for option. Sure, yeah, for yeah. Sure. So he might pick Marty or Dana if it's really a physical thing that yeah. he has to do. Yeah. Depending on what the challenge is today, them trying to get into Glennie's ear and saying like, hey, one of us should be captain um, so that they can save the other person. We've offered Balls everything he wants. He's just got to decide if that's, uh, if he wants to accept the offer or... Are you waiting to see the challenge? Maybe. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, that makes sense. We're trying to help you, young grasshopper. We're trying to get you to the promised land, young grasshopper, young Balls. Listen to us. If he's the captain, we're all fucked. All right, so Patrick, I've decided to give up the captains. Big development. <laughs> you just About time, before. massive development. If I somehow get fucked, I get your room in the house. Done. And I kill you if you don't bring back. Done. Deal. Despite what you think, I want ten thousand dollars. Let shake my fucking hand, dude. Like we've been doing this for three hours. Deal. I promise you. Whoa, my God, Glenny! What is happening? Pat, I'm the one doing you a favor right now, bro. You gotta get back in mad at me. I'm the one with the power. Yeah. Is this kid serious? There we go. We got it. You have nothing to worry about. I promise you, you have nothing to worry about. He's like, he's honestly like a kid, like with the way he's handling this. But whatever. It's a game, so let the games begin. So the plan right now is I'll leave the team today. Then hopefully they win the final challenge. Then they gotta kick somebody off. They could go for they bring on today, and they bring me back, and that's it. If they have the position of picking somebody, and they don't pick me at the end, and I'm on the other team, and they don't pick me. Stand up, straight up, clear. Friendship done. Straight up done. Leading numbers. No longer talking at work. Like done. 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 What I want. What if the person we bring in wins the captains? They can't. That we're fucked. Yeah. Well, that can't happen. If. We can get rid of balls today. If we win today, we have the option to get balls. Guys, it across our mind. <laughs> Angelo, I know this is like a fun thing to be here and whatever, but we gotta fucking win today. Like, this is a pivotal moment Shit's in the real. game. Shit's getting real. This is no longer it's fun. Today. Yeah, this is. Also, wipe that fucking smile off your face, Angelo. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm ready to go. If we don't win today, one of us here is getting fucked out of the house and money. I'm guaranteed. Team challenge number four. We're in Chicago. You see behind you, you have quite a obstacle course. How are we feeling, Keeks? Yeah, this is a big deal. Um, it's definitely a big deal for me personally. It's a big deal for this team. Um, I'm excited to hear the rules, though, Jeff. No gators are coming in, though. OK, well, I'm sad I about that. I promise you that. I'm sad about Balls, that. what about you, though? You've given up the captainship before. Are you, I can see you're locked in. You're trying to figure out what this is. Are you a little worried? Are you going to give it up? Like Giving it up is a possibility based off this. I'm not the most uh, obstacle inclined person. So we'll see what it happens. I don't know what the captain has to do yet. So why don't we talk about that? Let's talk about what you're going to do today. The team captains will be starting down here by these pucks and buckets. 
They will be given an order of sequence to place those high noon cans in. The rest of the team outside of the captains will start on the other end. The team captain will get the order. They will go through the obstacle course. They will give the team the order, and then they will come back through the obstacle course with the cans and place them on the pucks. If the order is incorrect, you must wait until the other team gives their first attempt in order to start rearranging and trying to guess correctly. The first round will be four, the second round will be five, the remaining rounds will be all six cans. The first team to win three rounds will be the champions, will get their reward. Um, shoot, actually. We have to find a card. Oh, one more card. What is this? Oh. Oh, I seem to have found four plane tickets from Chicago to New Jersey. Oh. Nah, Interesting. Nah. Let's make the reward a little different today. Not only do you stay in the house tonight, you fly tomorrow, and then you have all day to rest. No traveling in the RV. You can go to the beach, you can relax, you can do what you want, you can think about strategy, go eat, do whatever. While the losing team has to sleep on the RV and travel across some, no offense, boring parts of this country. Does that amp you up a little bit? Yeah, makes me a little more nervous, for sure. I, I Dana, you completely turned around. Well, I mean, <laughs> no comments from anybody, nothing? No, no, I'm good, I'm good to go. Let's talk strategy. Figure out, if you're gonna remain captains, figure out how you wanna play this game. And remember, you are playing for the house and a flight to New Jersey, clear out 16 hours. Huddle up, figure out what you're gonna do. Captains, good luck. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Who's got the best memory? I suck at memory. I do too. You're memorizing four letters, it's not that hard. I feel like right. you should be doing the opposite for us. No one wanted to be captain on this, so I said, fuck it. I've been a team captain, let me step up and do this. What are we doing? This is easy as fuck, just memorize it. So do you want to memorize it? Sure. You're the guy? Captain? Yeah, I'll memorize it. Hey, come on. I'm not good with the memory part. I'm great with memory part, I'm not good with running though. Kelly Keegs has been asking for a mental challenge this entire time, so her being the captain was kind of perfect. We all have to run. Okay, you just have to run more. Yeah, we're just going to Let's go, Kelly! All right! I will read your captains the order. I'll stand back, I'll blow the horn, and then you may begin. Lime, pineapple, grapefruit, watermelon. Contestants, ready up! How are they going to do Atta this boy, challenge? Get there, baby. Get there, Pat. Atta boy. Go, get, get. Like a gazelle. Go. Go, here. Go, Kelly. Lime, pineapple, grapefruit, watermelon. Lime, no, pineapple, no grapefruit, watermelon. Four cans is what they need. Lime, pineapple, grapefruit, watermelon. Balls, first one going through. No can for Glenny Balls. Dana throws his can under. Yellow off to a great start as well. Balls right through the hole. Yellow making some good moves. Pat slowly moving his, yellow catching up a bit. Yellow has three cans through as well. Casey underneath, the second obstacle with their can. They're close. Done. They have it, lime, pineapple, grapefruit, watermelon. Blue team's up one to nothing. Easy, boys. Easy. Good job. Round two, blue up one to nothing. First to three wins. Now you will have five cans left to right. Pineapple, lime, black cherry, watermelon, peach. Contestants, ready up! Go, Kelly! Come on, Pat. Pineapple, lime, black cherry, watermelon, go, peach. Kelly! Peach hit her leg on that one going underneath it. Pat almost knocked the whole thing over. Pat first over to his team. Pineapple, lime, black cherry, watermelon, peach. Oof. Vibs, pineapple, lime. Go, go, go. Watermelon. Nibs over real quick, throws his can over. He's first over. Glenny again, will not be carrying a can. That means somebody's probably gonna have to go back to get a can. Very quickly for Yellow. They're throwing him over and getting on out there. Vibs is gonna be the first back with the can. Dana has the blue team's first can in. Glenny's sitting off to the side. He seems to be remembering the order. Angelo threw with two. Yellow has two. Trying to get their third can through. Keegs and Casey wheeling the rest of them. Luke and Vibs gonna try to put them in order. Vibs grabs their third can. Help him out, help him out. Five cans over for Yellow. You gotta go through. All five cans, Keys went back, has to go through. Boys, balls, cut, done. Now here you go. 
pineapple, lime, watermelon, black cherry. She wasn't there. Guys, check the guys, camera. let me just fucking check the goddamn order. Pineapple, lime, black cherry. That is incorrect. Pineapple, lime, black cherry, watermelon, peach. That is correct. Two nothing blue. Oh my god. I mean, I feel so bad for her because she's not a runner. So it's like we probably should have switched. Damn. It's going to five. It's going to five. All right, round three. Blue is up two to nothing. Six cans. Clear the yellow flag, and then your team is good. You all must pass the yellow flag. Here we go. Pineapple, lime, watermelon, black cherry, grapefruit, peach. Contestants ready up. Last chance for the yellow team here. If they lose, it's over. They got through first last time but it was in the wrong order. Glenny has not carried a can the entire time. Pineapple, lime, grapefruit, black cherry, watermelon, peach. Balls is first through, he's hustling. Balls has one can through. Balls punches it through. Angelo has blue second can. Dana was carrying two. Go, go, go. Yellow team trying to get every can through that second obstacle. Blue team starting to try to put them in order. They almost have all of their cans through. Bibbs throws one can. Pat, last over here. Put them up, put them up, put them up. Blue team is going to try to assemble. Are we good? What do we think? But check blue. Pineapple, lime, grapefruit. Incorrect. <laughs> Yellow team take their time try to make it two to one. They were through way after, but their easy pace may have helped them. Whoa! You can't turn to that, I can absolutely look. You can't go over. I can totally look. No, 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 no. Keys, this is your final order. Switch grapefruit black cherry. Okay, final order. Pineapple, lime, watermelon, grapefruit. Incorrect! Oh. Both teams can order right now! Both teams can reorder right now! Yellow, pineapple, lime, watermelon, black cherry, grapefruit, peach. That is correct. Two to one. Yellow down by one. Got it by a hair. That was good. Them, that rule of them fucking it up and them trying to submit it, I hope that they keep fucking it up because we need that time to, for me to get my brain right. I swear to God, when I go through this thing, I fucking forget everything. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling a little more confident. I told you, five games. They don't have the gas we do. All right, teams, two to one. Blue team with two, yellow with one. Blue, if you win here, you win the reward and the challenge. Yellow, you need to win to stay alive. Six cans. Captains, <laughs> here is your order for round four. Peach, lime, grapefruit, pineapple, watermelon, black cherry, hang tight, hang tight. Contestants, ready up! <laughs> round four, yellow needs a win to tie this one up. The flight on the line. Keeks didn't even go down on that one. She kept way better pace this time with Pat. Keeks learning the course. Pat, though, still first over. Peach, lime, watermelon, grapefruit, black cherry. He's booking it. Look at him go. Bibbs again, the first one over. Casey even quicker over this time. Yellow is moving right now. Casey lost some room, slowing down a bit. But guess what? They're about to have the first two cans through. Angelo, though, catches up for the blue team. Ball struggling getting the one through. He gets the beach through. Angelo with the next one. Keegs all the way through. Here comes Bibbs. Bibbs shoving the can through. We're very close right here. Blue has their first two at the platform. Keegs going to start rolling the yellow team cans. Grab this. Trying to get all the cans through. Peach, lime, watermelon, grapefruit, pineapple. Last one is black cherry. Incorrect. Yellow, you have a chance to tie it up. Peach, lime, grapefruit, pineapple, watermelon, black cherry. Keys, is this the order you want? Hang on. Get ready, get ready. Keys, on your mark. Okay, final order. Peach, lime, grapefruit, pineapple, watermelon, black cherry. Tied up two to two. Yes. yes. Let's fucking go! Another comeback for the yellow team! Let's fucking go. This last one's a lot of fucking pressure. It's a lot of fucking pressure. I think we can do it. They don't have the gas that we do. They don't have it. And they're gonna need it for that 16-hour RV ride, bitch! Yeah.
Blue team, yellow team, two to two. Last round, six cans. Watermelon, black cherry, grapefruit, lime, peach, pineapple. Hang on. Contestants, ready up. Last round, for reward, for the right to swap or boot a member. Two days away from $10,000 each and a beach house all on the line. Watermelon, black cherry, pineapple, peach, grapefruit. Multiple incorrect orders. Phipps is first over. Balls is down without a can this time. A different idea. Yellow sticking to their plan. It's worked for them. Phipps through for yellow. First can is clear. All the cans for blue except for one are over the first barrier. But yellow has all of them over. Keys wheeling in their first can. Gleddy throws their first in. Go, go ahead, go the other way. Go. We're tied up two to two right now in terms of cans cleared through. Fibs has a third for yellow. Spider a fourth for yellow. Spider through with the cans. They have all their cans, they have to try to put them in order. If they are right, they win the challenge. Pat is bleeding, Keys looking around, but now Blue has caught up. Their cans are here too. First team to tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Blue? Blue wants their order right now. Watermelon, black cherry, pineapple, peach, grapefruit, lime, incorrect. Yellow, a chance to win the game. The second they are wrong, if they're wrong, they're wrong. you can reorder. Okay. Wait, shush, shush. Keeks trying to figure it out if they have it. Peach, pineapple. Keeks has yeah, to make final. a decision. Final decision. Final decision. Watermelon, grapefruit, Lime, black cherry, peach, pineapple, incorrect, oh. reorder! First team to signal that they're ready! You want an order? Incorrect! Try this one. Incorrect! Think about it, think about it. Just think. They're trying to figure it out. Do they have any idea? Did we try pineapple, peach? I don't think Try this one. Incorrect! Fuck. Remember this order right now, so if we fuck it up. Are you doing this right now, Pat? Yes. Watermelon, black cherry, pineapple, peach, grapefruit, lime, no! I can't remember the ones that we already did. Peach is definitely here. Peach is definitely here. Jeff fucked up. Try watermelon, grapefruit, black cherry, lime, peach, pineapple. Try that. Watermelon, grapefruit, black cherry, lime, peach, pineapple. Incorrect! Check it. Check, check, check. Watermelon, black cherry, peach, pineapple, grapefruit, lime, incorrect! Done job. This is a struggle. Are you gonna check keys? Yeah, let's check this one. Watermelon, black cherry, grapefruit, lime, peach, pineapple. Yellow team wins reward and the challenge. Holy shit. Wow. I thought it was going to be an all time moment of when we got these six cans and they're set up. Done! And we got bloody Pat. It was going to be such a heroic moment for us. And then when he said incorrect, I was like, oh no, we're screwed. Balls was supposed to be our memory guy and he didn't say a word down there about what order it was supposed to go and it all fell right back on me. I didn't know if that was the order or not on the last one, but I fucking did it. Definitely sucks. We really, 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 really needed that one, like big time. Balls, Dana, Marty, not the best brains in the world. That's not someone you want in a room together trying to figure out some shit. I felt like I wasn't getting over there fast enough to tell them what the order was, but once we needed to remember more at a time, I knew that my memory would hold up, theirs didn't, and they started getting a little uh, frazzled, a little bit all over the place, and we were able to make this huge comeback. Great performance by her, long time coming for her to be a captain, and I think she handled the leadership role very well. Literally can't believe that it happened. All right, first off, well done each team. I mean, that was the most physical one yet. I mean, Pat literally battered. You do have, you were the first winner of the first battle wound, though. Yeah, it was. I think what happened was I went through the last challenge and Glenny picked a can up, and on the recoil, I tried to grab it, but it slipped through my hands and it bashed me right in the eyebrow. Keegs, first time as captain. You were get. You said you might faint after the first one. Yeah, 
It's hot, it's so hot out here. I cannot do anything physical. It's really bad for me. I really, I'm a fainter. I was like, I'm, I can't let this team down. I don't know how you guys felt. I just didn't want you guys to be disappointed in me. That's all I cared about. House tonight and some plane tickets. Hold on to these four. Got Hold on Don't pass them out yet. Got them. Key, you must now decide for the yellow team. Casey, Spider, Vibs. You can boot one over to the blue team or you can take somebody from the blue team, meaning they can take one of your team members as well. Very tough decision. Really, this is the second to last time these teams are gonna lock before the big money decision. This is a big one. I'd like to deliberate with my team. Okay, that's fair. I say we take Marty. I, I think we got a spider and I have to go. We yeah, go. I, I think we have to take I don't think either of them are gonna take you like that. Are you sure? I, I mean, it'd be I don't think so. You don't think they'll take I, don't I think they, they, they would think you throw a fist. So we then, wanted to split them up all yeah, day. That's yeah, what yeah, we got to yeah, do. We want the so challenge and stick to the game. Okay, yeah, they definitely don't want to be stuck on a bus right now. One, two, three. Yellow team! All right, Keeks. Okay. Team decision, personal decision, what's the choice? Are you going to boot or swap? It's a team decision. We were talking about it today. We're going to stick with it. We are going to take Marty. We're going to take Marty. Marty, you didn't want to go through airport security. Guess what? Get it for some TSA lines in the morning, Welcome my the friend. Team. You're over on the yellow team. Why would you take somebody who has spent all this time with myself and Pat, who has aligned himself with myself and Pat, and bring him on your team? We needed one of them, and Marty was our 1A, and Dana was our 1B. Fortunately, we got our first guy today, so. Dana's a little chunky, to be honest. Marty's a little bit more lean. It's that simple. Blue team. You are now picking a member. I want to reiterate, the person you pick is the person that will compete with you tomorrow for the $40,000 and the house. Yellow team, you're going to lose one of those members. This will be your final team. Now, with all that said, Pat. There's really nothing that the yellow team can do to stop me, Dana, and Marty. Like, even if one of us is on the other team, we're just going to throw their challenge, and we're just going to try and get back over. We're going to take Vips. Vibs coming on over, will not be flying. Marty, Spider, Casey, Keys against Pat, Dana, Glennie, and Vibs. One of these teams in the Jersey Shore. At the Jersey Shore? On the Jersey Shore. I did all three, nobody can complain. We'll win $40,000 and a beach house, except one person on one of those teams won't be there. It's going to be intense, it's gonna be dramatic. This team, enjoy some, some airfare, enjoy some rest. Other side. I feel like you guys are kind of road dogs, so you like the road life. Nope, not at all. Okay, you do, Balls does, Balls does. Enjoy the house, enjoy the RVs. I'll see you guys in New Jersey. It's hilarious to see people just now realize that we're in a game because the stakes are real, the money is real, the house is real. This entire competition just got very real. I just want to say Jeff D was by the book that whole entire challenge. He called it fair and square. He, he did everything he should have. He had the utmost integrity, and that's really the name of the game. From Is that what, why you hit me on the ass at the end? From one official to another, exactly. That's okay. why I gave him the All ass. Right, that's a mutual respect. <laughs> that's a, yeah. I mean, look at that wagon, Cody. Uh, so I'm going to take the flight. I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm just a little fucking confused on what the hell to do now. I was walking behind the yellow team on the way back to the RVs and I could hear them making their beach plans for tomorrow and where they wanted to go out to eat and that sucked. Back on the blue bus. Like I said, blue team till I die. <laughs> <laughs> Up to nothing, it's just you can't let that one down. We were so confident too going into the third one. Marty coming onto the yellow bus is fine, it's great. We get along with Marty, that's cool. Do we trust him? No, I don't trust Marty for shit. Spider, are you mad I'm on your team? No, I'm pumped to have you, bro. You, I said in the confessionals, you're one of the most athletic people. You're an asset on this team. But you better pull your weight equally. Yeah. We got flights, we got an Airbnb, we got a hot shower waiting. I can't wait, I feel gross. Wow, look at this. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is gorgeous. This is pretty this is beautiful. beautiful. 7 p.m. and we're just checking into the Airbnb. Long ass day, I can't wait to sleep in these beds. Get on that flight tomorrow, fuck the blue team. Dana's out here laughing in our group chat because he just found out that our food isn't getting delivered here. Unbelievable, fucking scumbag. I got the only good things to say about them. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know. This is my new team, this is my first time switching. It's not a bad spot to be with the flying and everything, so we'll see you in the last stop in Jersey. On the final episode of Barstool vs. America. Ten days on this trip, I've had nine of them figured out. Honey doesn't need $10,000. Like I'm fucking John D. Rockefeller. It all comes down to this. Because I've just been honest with everybody. Players begin to scramble. 
Dana, just shut your fucking stupid fat mouth one time. He's very much straddling the fence and playing both sides. The biggest challenge yet. It was literally like a top five worst experience of my life. I, it was so hard. We crown a champion and break the heart of one contestant. For the love of God, just let this whole thing end and please let it end with $10,000 in my pocket.